So video covers have been out for quite some time now, and I haven't made one for my Facebook group yet. So let's change that. Before we get started, there's a couple of criteria that we have to make sure that we follow when we're making these. So let's go over that quick. The first one is resolution. Now we wanna make sure that our resolution is a minimum of 820 by 312, or the recommended is 820 by 462, which is actually a 16 by nine. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. Additionally, we have to make sure that it's at least 20 seconds long, but it can't exceed 90 seconds. So if you don't know what covers are, it's these little pictures or videos that are above the content on your page. So that's what we're actually going to be creating. So let's jump into DaVinci here. And the first thing we're gonna do is obviously that resolution. So we're gonna click on this gear down here. And then right here in master settings, we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna make a custom obviously. And this is going to be 820. And then it's going to be by 462. And I'm just going to change this to 2997, same here. Save. And now I can just bring in my content. So here, what you'll see is that I have a couple that are 1080 and a couple that are 4K. Let me see right here, 1080 and 4K. So if I add them in, remember the resolution size, what you'll see is that by default, it's automatically changing the size of these clips. Because if it wasn't to change the size of the clips, this is what it would look like. If we click on the gear again, we're going to go to image size and then input scaling. And we're gonna change this to no resizing. And when we do that, obviously it's zoomed in quite a bit and this shot, you can't even tell what you're looking at. So by default, they uh, have it set to show everything of that shot. Now, if you have vertical video, this could be a pain in the butt. Let me grab a uh, still here so I can show you what I mean by that. All right, so let's bring in that image. And one thing you'll notice is it doesn't matter uh, the size of the shot with the current default setting because it's just going to show anything that is in that shot, right? So as you can see, we have uh, black on both sides. Uh, one thing that you could do is you could come into here and you have a scale full frame with crop. And what that's going to do is it's going to take your edges here and it's going to bring your edges all the way out. And then it's going to keep its aspect ratio. So the top and bottom will just get chopped off. So if I do that here quick, you'll see it's look fine. If I look at these other ones, because the aspect ratio is the same, these don't ever get affected. Right, so you have that, and then you would just be able to come over here and move it up and down. So that is an option. The other thing that you could do is they have this stretch frame, which really isn't something that most people are gonna want um, for their shot because all it's doing is it's taking the top left corner and it's pinning it to the top left corner of the timeline's uh, resolution in the right corner, and the, you know, so it's just pulling them out and it's completely disregarding the aspect ratio and maintaining that. As you can see here, this tall shot is now stretched wide. So for most situations, this isn't gonna be desirable results. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let you know that that does exist. So we'll go back to the default. And you can also have all of your shots here like this. And let's say you have one that's a tall shot. You could come into that one tall shot and zoom it in um, just so it fills the frame so now that we have all of this, we can just bring in our shots and start chopping this up, just maintaining the minimum of 20, maximum of 90 seconds long. Uh, additionally, you can also add audio in here. So, you know, by all means, just throw some audio in there and then, you know, you would have that. So I'm gonna cut together a quick shot, a quick video, and I'll be back once I'm done with that. All right, I put something together here. It's only 31 seconds, so it's not that long, but let's take a look at it quick.
right, so that's pretty much it. Now we just have to render it out and then post it. So let's go over to deliver page. And all we're gonna do is just make this a very simple file. So I'm actually going to make this just an MP4. Um, I'm not exactly sure everything that Facebook takes, but just to make it easy, I'm just gonna do MP4. It's not that large of a file anyways. Then find a location to render this out. All right, we'll render it out here and then we'll just add that in and then just making sure that we are getting the entire thing here and all the settings just copied over from the project settings. So that's perfectly fine. What's here. And then I'm just going to add to render queue and then render this out quick. As you can see here, a lot of these are just fusion clips and all they really are is it's just uh, old projects that I had. So all the old tutorials, I just threw them in here and then put them in 3D space and moved a camera around to kind of uh, make it look a little bit cooler, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Uh, so now it's done rendering and we will just open up Facebook and we can come right into wherever it is that you're going to be adding this. Uh, I'm gonna add it in here. And then I think you just click on upload photo. All right, well, fantastic. I quickly realized that I cannot add a video to a group. And I made the video for the group, which kind of sucks. If I didn't have that text in there, I would just put it on my Facebook page, but I have that text in there, so it'd be kind of weird to add it in here. Cause if I, on my uh, actual page, if I click on here, I can then choose video. So it looks like I'm not gonna upload this because I can't, but that's how you would do it then. You would just come into here and you would upload. So now I have to make one for this instead. I thought you'd be able to do it to any cover, but obviously you can't. Lesson learned. Maybe in the future you will be able to, but I feel like these have been out since like 2017. So that's kind of the conclusion to this one. Didn't really end how I wanted it to. So hopefully you learned something. And it wasn't only that you can't add a video to a group. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks for watching. Thank you.